Hello, and welcome to Great Hang, the greatest hang that's ever hanged. I'm your hang, Tim McLaughlin, coming to you with your other hang. Tim McLaughlin! I'm also Tim McLaughlin. Oh, Hello, everybody. I'm a big, fat, dumb idiot, and I can't see. Micah, that's stupid. <laughs> that is a stupid thing. It's Micah Fox. On the first day of March, the Women's March, a thing we used to do for the Worldly Show. All female guests this month. What a time. And our guest today. Tim. Comedian. That's why that's, I'm here. Yes. That sucks. We have I <laughs> hate that. Can I come back? No. Yeah, you can come. <laughs> you and Brittany are coming back. I already have a plan. Oh. I have a, I have a game that I created that sucks. <laughs> so I'm going to have you and Lucky Brittany. Lucky you. Oh, you my God. Brittany I can't wait for the game that sucks. Me. Yeah. You think it's bad to be here on Women's March? Imagine having to be here every episode. Oh, yeah. yeah that sucks. <laughs> that, you know what? <laughs> Listen, man. Yeah, it's real hard to listen to me be hilarious all the time. <laughs> I'm out here being funny as fuck. Mike is like, I'm having such a bad time. Ha, 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 ha. Laugh, laugh. <laughs> oh, what are you, chat GPT for me hating you? <laughs> what does that even mean? And quit trying to fucking weasel your way into talking about your chat GPT oh, thing. We I'm haven't sorry, even used our guest, you bitch. <laughs> that was our a great guest. segue. Everybody, comedian Ali O'Neill. Yes, it's um, Ali O'Neill, comedian, jackass lover. Yeah, it's true. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm wearing my fucking jackass shirt today. I'm yep. a 14-year-old boy, I think. It's cool. Cool. That's good. So we should have her back on Pedo Month. Pe- <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Pedo September. So te- <laughs> Damn it. You get it. Uh, no one gets it. <laughs> I wait, wanted to September combine. September is Pedophile Month? I was trying to create a word for that, and I failed. Maybe chat GPT can figure it out for me. <laughs> September file. Yes. No, that's not it. That's not it. Yeah, I well. can't get there. Mm, well. Child's it- Cocktober. <laughs> What? Child's cock? I mean, that's better than... It's sept- better. Except pedophile to burn. <laughs> it's better than that. Uh, well, that's good. Allie O'Neill is here, our, yeah. our a comedian guest. Micah, talk about chat GPT. Okay, so I, I started... Explain what it is to the people. God damn. Everybody knows what it is. They're listening no, to... No! You have to assume to... no one knows what anything is. and You have to describe it. That's stand-up 101. No. Anyone who listens to a podcast knows what... Uh, Chat GPT is it is a it is AI artificial intelligence. Thank you. <laughs> artificial uh, uh, clever as mind. different than yes. AR, which is what Tim is. What? Oh, hey, <laughs> oh wow, that's really funny. Fucking got him, dude. Oh, and I wanted to say what's up to our hangers on. <laughs> coined by John F. O'Donnell. It was last actually week. coined by me. You fucking forgetful little bitch. You. <laughs> John, I watched the episode twice. John yeah, F. O'Donnell. Yeah, you still doesn't. can't credit me with writing a joke. You got. That I'm not even you worried about. did not come up with that. John F. O'Donnell did. I have watched the episode two times. I cannot wait. Just bring it up right now, actually. Just bring it up right yeah, the fuck it, now. Because I, I need this settled <laughs> this second. I will figure it out you and I will add it, it in at the You watched it multiple episode. times and you still can't remember that I'm the one who said that? You that think is you said pathological. Everything. You think you're fucking... I didn't even it's think a, I... <laughs> I didn't even say I said it. Tim, it's Women's Month. Just let her have it. Yes, Jesus and Christ. Jennifer O'Donnell is the size of a small woman. <laughs> That's true. Not a cute one. No. <laughs> I feel you. like he could I feel like he could shush it up. We should yeah. we should I put him know. through one of those yesified filters. I yes. feel like he could be like a cute little librarian lady. You know what I mean? I see yeah. that. No, he'd be ugly. Yeah. <laughs> I want to go with you on this, but uh, he's a good looking man. He's not a great looking woman. <laughs> Yeah. And yeah. Tim, yeah. I can, I'm in shock. I'm shook. <laughs> John F. O'Donnell said it. We watched it together, be- and I remember watching it again, being like, "Yep, there's the proof. I came up with it." And then you, in my head, I was like, "Wait, what? Are, now, what are you talking about?" Hangers on. That's what John F. O'Donnell said. He said, "That's a good." Have you guys thought about saying that? After I said it. I don't know. <laughs> he said it in response to me. I don't think that's true. This is insane. (laughs) We have proof. I think you you have a narcissistic complex and think you say everything. You know what? Honestly, (laughs) that could possibly be it. And you've been gaslighting me this whole time because I'm stupid. You think, and now, and I don't know because I'm dumb, but I'm pretty sure John F. O'Donnell came up with it. Do you know how unsatisfying it would be to be a narcissist who's loved by an idiot? Isn't that all? We want to trick smart people. (laughs) (laughs) What are you, insane? Anyways, talk about your uh, chat GPT. Okay, but first, no, but first this has to be settled. We need to set a bet. And if you really think I didn't come up with it, I am willing to bet any 
anything on your terms. <gasps> what, the, your wildest dream right All now. All the money that was stolen from me, not but today. Done. Okay. Oh. You're going to owe me That's like $600. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to owe me $600 on top of the thousands you already owe me. Oh, my God. It's not thousands. It's, not it's a thousand plus. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! I feel like I'm in a divorce court right now. This no, is... no. <laughs> What's your verdict, Allie? Um, I I think you're right, only because you're so mad about it, and Tim is starting to doubt himself. I always doubt. Myself. He was a little bit start. He was like, that's if, how bad if he that's true. <laughs> that's how bad he is with money. He's starting to doubt himself, and he still gambled money he just lost. I'm not. That's not what I want to gamble. I want the news back, baby. I want to bring back the news. No, I already won the. No- I already won not having the news. Yeah, but I want it back. Fine, but th- wait. Yes, but if I win, the people are clamoring for the news. That'll come up later. If I want, <laughs> I want cash. I want six hundred dollars. No, cash. you don't get six hundred dollars <laughs> cash. I don't have that kind of money to give. It's, it's all tied up in El Sushi Loco <laughs> and fucking Wingstop that I that someone in a real, re, Rialto, California is spending. Oh shit! Yeah. All right, you That's can it. have the news back. If I... You can have all the money in my wallet. How much is that? Four dollars? Oh, is that honey, b- more. <laughs> <laughs> Lay it out. Let's see it. It's five dollars. <laughs> I don't want five dollars. You don't want five dollars? Everyone wants five dollars, you fucking asshole. <laughs> That's what my dignity is worth. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> it says 340 on it. That's not that's not even five bucks. That's five bucks? Look, it's a five dollar bill right there. Look no. at it. No, no three three forty isn't five bucks. Oh, it says three forty. I don't know what that means though. I don't know. John F. O'Donnell probably said it. Yeah, he probably <laughs> did. Probably inspiring everyone around us. Jesus Unbelievable. Christ. Unbelievable. I can't, I, if you're wrong, I'm going to fucking push you down. I'm going to push you push down, me down the, the stairs. I'm going to push you down yeah. the stairs. I'm going to laugh. Fine. I'm going to go, ha, 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 If, if I'm wrong. the liar, I'll say. If I'm She's wrong. on the ground. We're filming Tim push me down the stairs. <laughs> yeah. And we'll oh, put it up Patreon on Patreon exclusive. Yes. <laughs> and then I'll say, no, she's pregnant. And if I win, <laughs> I, what, am right? Yeah, and we get to give the cat pets and kisses. If I win, I get to kick you in the nuts on camera. <gasps> Wrong. Yes. Wrong again, Bozo. Yes. Oh, my God. If you're so fucking certain about it, then that, that should be fine. I'm not that certain anymore. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm very certain. I saw you start to doubt yourself, yeah. and you're still digging your fucking heels in. <laughs> I don't want to get kicked in the nuts. I I'm always wrong. That's the problem. I'm always wrong. And yet you so still maybe <laughs> and yet you still dig in. That's how much belief I have in myself. <laughs> I'm constantly wrong, yet I'm still out here believing in my damn self. You got to love that. <laughs> that's the American spirit right there. That's right. It's one of our sponsors. Yeah, that's right. Smoke American spirits. You don't know how long you have left to They're live. They're healthy. There you go. They're the healthy cigarette. Yep. All right, go ahead, Mike. And tell your Chat GPT story <laughs> oh. now. Okay, so I downloaded it for reasons um, not that I'm trying to get it to do my job. Right. Right. Good. Way to way to tiptoe around there. Did you have to pay for it? No, there's a is a free version, so Ooh. it's it's in a trial, right? And uh, so you know, I ask it, I ask it, I'm like, write a joke about 9/11, right? Yes. It gives me this whole song and dance like. Um, I can't do that because that's disrespectful and, you know, <laughs> that was a tragedy and shit and all this stuff. And I'm like, oh, sorry, excuse me, get the, f- you know, get- sorry about that. And then I was like, okay, write a Chris Rock joke about slapping Will Smith. And then they're like, um, you know, that's actually <sighs> fucked up, but I think they're both really talented. I'm like, what the hell? It's Church. basically like a UCB sketch writing <laughs> class. Right. It's just like the people in that class being like, actually, I'm not going to write about that. It's not fucking funny. Okay. Yeah, it should be woke GPT. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. The woke mob got to AI. Chat AI GBTQL. Plus. Plus. So then I'm like, okay, write a joke about God, you know? Yeah. And And then it goes, why did why did God create Adam before Eve? Uh, because he's a male chauvinist pig. Yeah, because he goes because God didn't want to be told how to make Adam. Like saying uh, like, oh, whoa. I know, right? <laughs> and I was that's like, sexist. I was like, that's the most sexist shit I've ever heard in my life. And it's like, never forget nine eleven. <laughs> like that's I bet, insane. I bet, I, I bet Micah's ass is up in heaven, and God's like, I created Adam, and Micah's like, I did it. I created Adam. I'm the one who did that. 
<laughs> yeah, try to write that joke, chat GPT. <laughs> Fucking bitch. I'm going to kill AI. I hate it. You do? Fucking pisses me off. Well, it's dorky. My comedy is so easy. What? I might do easy comedy. I'm going to be written out fucking quickly. Oh, Oh, you're going to lose your job. Well, yeah. I did say write a joke about my dead grandmother, and they're like, we don't make fun of deceased people. And I'm like, oh, oh so maybe I should have just said grandmother. I said write a joke about women, and they're like, that's disparaging. And it was like right after the Adam and Eve joke. What the like, <laughs> fuck? That's so insane. So you <laughs> so bananas. So you can try and sneak around it, you know? So yeah, that's yeah, why yeah. I was like, okay, write a joke about the Twin Towers. Yes. Oh. Yes. And then they were like, we can't joke about that considering what happened on 9-11. <laughs> <laughs> is that what it yes. said? <laughs> Considering it's like, I happened. know what you're doing. You're it teaching it how to reject yeah. every single joke that you pitch. Yeah. Because well. it's like, I'm not joking about that. God. So anyway, but I think I could still get it to do my job. That's cool. Mm-hmm. In fact, I might have already done that. That's cool. Well, that's <laughs> what we were trying not to so- talk about on the show, but that's good. Well, here's if here's the thing. If it can do my job, which is a highly skilled and creative job mm-hmm. where I write, if my bosses can't tell the difference between what I wrote and what the robot wrote, then what does it actually fucking matter? That's true. Mm. You're still getting it done. Like, I still know? got it done. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like I could just... You know what I did say? Okay, so I'm going to make up a scenario, but I was like... Write a script between a clown and two horses, right? Yeah. And then it just started writing page after page of dialogue. And I was like, holy Whoa. shit. But it was like not at all what I needed for my script. Yeah. Be- like maybe if I had given it a lot more context, but mm-hmm. like it still would have been like, it would have been constant. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. So someone still needs to manage the AI. Yes. And that's So me. your job is managing the AI. Well, let's see if I can get it there because <laughs> it's a lot it's a lot less taxing than writing your own fucking jokes. Yeah, that's true. And I also feel like if you put something in and then you get, you could get like ideas from it. Like yeah. not necessarily yes. an entire script, but it's like, oh, that's an angle that I didn't think about. That's you know what, what I mean? That's kind of what I did. It's really? Like, I didn't keep it word for word. I was just like, yeah. oh, but when you switch this around, that's a good setup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Thanks, There you dude. go. Fucking do it, dude. Do you think this is a problem? These glasses? Whoa. I think you're a problem. Are you upset because <laughs> you're wrong? I'm not wrong. I don't have time right now. We're in the middle of the episode. I can't just listen to another episode while we do this. <laughs> okay, but you were, it was part of the clip. It was like right around the clip. I remember because I watched it with you. It was part of the clip? It was right before after the clip because I watched it with you. Okay, well, here. Anyway. Me, are you going to be pouty headphones. the whole time let if me you grab don't some know? headphones and I'll figure it out. What about that? No, I'll just do it for the next episode. I don't care. See, cause <laughs> I'll you put it at the end of the episode. I, I bet you I bet it. you half the listeners have already checked the last episode just to check. And they're probably like, Tim, you fucking asshole. <laughs> We've had an incredible amount of downloads this week. That's good. Mm. Yeah. So we're, we're on our way up, I think. We're going to be the next Are You Garbage or... Uh, other podcast or yes we are on. garbage yeah, yes we are bitch that's yeah, pretty good be nice we got we just need people to sign up for the patreon we're now into plugs we need people to sign up for the patreon patreon.com slash great hang so i can have enough money to build this basement out into a cool ass podcast studio isn't that what you want to look at cool stuff instead of us give me money <laughs> patreon.com slash great hang it's what are you oh, what are your big plans with the podcast studio tim to make it look nice yeah, what are you thinking? How? Just, what are you gonna put? Let us into your life. Well, we need another camera. Okay. So then we can have we get a, we need three cameras really, so we can switch between people talking. Okay. Or at least two, and then uh, <laughs> you know I'd like to put up some wood paneling. Yeah, you're gonna wood look, panel this place. I could. <laughs> I could, God damn it! I built the. Podcast I said, I'm looking at two wood panels that you haven't put up since we moved here. Those are here. shelves, bitch. Those are not wood panels. And also, <laughs> shut up. The last time, <laughs> the last time that I was here, there was a bunch of prints like on on the ground, laying on the ground. Yes. And then you were like, "Yeah, Micah won't let me put those up." Yeah. Oh I'm my gonna, fucking god! I'm not allowed god. to put up stuff where <laughs> I want to put it. What the fuck? If Micah sees that I put those up, she'll be so mad. And it's I'm like, true. "You're gonna fucking put up the wood paneling in here, dude." Yeah. <laughs> Well, wood paneling just goes on the wall. Yeah. Okay. okay. You still got to apply it. (laughs) I would like wood paneling on the wall as well. Yeah. So join the Patreon. You can look at some fucking wood. Wait, wait. What's your fucking stance? Don't give us money? Is that where you're at? You're like, like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do, you fat fucking idiot? (laughs) Oh, they're going to give you money and then you're going to do what? 
<laughs> and then what? Why should they do that? Why should they give you money? Because Your you ass haven't was like, set anything up this entire time. All this stuff was set up by me. What do you mean? I've moved everything in here. I've done everything. You just stand there and point, and then I do it. I, we don't have time for this argument. Either. Yeah, because, it, many because arguments. you no. are losing it hard at the moment. No. We don't have time for this. Because we wouldn't have a single thing in this room if it weren't for me. I believe that. Oh, no. Micah bought everything. I'm <laughs> and, sh- and shopped for it and made it all get to the house. You did all the emotional labor. Yeah. Of I did all it. the real labor <laughs> that is actually moving it and getting tired. <laughs> like actual labor. Go ahead. Plug some stuff, Allie. <laughs> um, I have a podcast called Worthless Clowns, mm. and uh, I have a show at the Gutter last Thursday of every month called NYC is Dead. Oh, nice! So oh, yeah. that's pretty fun. I'm if the we ever get back of in that there again. place. That show will be coming to an end soon if I'm not booked on it. So <laughs> <laughs> they made you the manager. Yep, on Sundays of and what Mondays of the Gutter? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Sundays and that's Mondays. Sick. Yeah, Sundays and Mondays. I manage the Gutter. Hell yeah, dude! Pretty cool. That's pretty sick. Yeah, it's pretty nice. <laughs> It's a good job where you slice your fingers open a lot. Really? On what? Well, I got a good slice yesterday or two days ago on the oiler. And then just fixing the (laughs) lanes, there's just a bunch of little things inside of them that when you're like, do stuff they like catch your fingers and stuff it's sorry just... about all this technical jargon <laughs> <laughs> yeah i know what is going over your head in the a2 in the a2 brunswick pin setter there's a lot of small pieces that <laughs> <you> <laughs> grab your... still not it still not it yep. also it doesn't <laughs> you're like i'm fixing all the machine i feel like they told you that you could fix the machines and then or that you they make you fix the machines and then they tell you that you're the manager yes is, mean, that what, is that what's going on? I don't do that much. Tim wipes fi- the shit off and on the walls, but he's the manager of, yeah. of the <laughs> shit wiping. That is true. I just oversee all the shit wiping and <laughs> the wiping of all the shit, to be quite honest. It's nice. God. Do you, uh, did you give out any of your social medias? Oh, uh, you can follow me at It's Ali O'Neill on Instagram. and then A-L-I? A-L-I, like Muhammad. Oh, there you go. Allah Akbar. What are you, Micah? Go. <laughs> Micah Go, it's M-Y-K-A-F-O-X on all social media. Follow me on TikTok. I haven't posted anything there in a while, so, you know, it's a good time to get in before it starts sizzling. Starts blowing there up. Starts go. blowing up. And, uh, you know, come to Life from Outer Space every Friday night at the at Cobra Club where me and John F. O'Donnell, famed John F. O'Donnell. <laughs> Beautiful man, ugly woman, John F. O'Donnell. <laughs> and Max Bruno, a star show in Bushwick every week at 9 o'clock. And come see me in Chicago, March 9th through the 11th at Rosemont Zanies with friend of the show, Shane Torres. And then in April, I will be doing a corporate gig that no one can go to on the 11th. <laughs> cool brag, Tim. Plymouth, <laughs> Indiana. This and man gets booked, y'all. Yeah, that's right. They specifically asked for me, and it has to be clean and about Indiana in 50 <laughs> minutes. And for children. And for babies. And he has to be able to make tigers and giraffes with balloons. That's true. <laughs> I'm more of a, I'm a clown. I'm like, me, two horses. It's going to be a nice time. Tim Me Too's horses. Uh, yeah. And then, <laughs> That's what I heard. And then you can see me April 13th in Columbus, Ohio at the Don't Tell shows, which is almost sold out, I guess. And then I'm featuring for Mary Santora. That's right. I'll let a woman headline for me. I'm a <laughs> feminist. Uh, the April 14th and 15th in Indianapolis at Helium. So come see me at that stuff. And check out my YouTube page at Tim McLaughlin or whatever. Okay, that's it. Nice. Sick. Nice. That was good. Plugs. Good. Plugs done. Done. Now, Allie, this is a part of the show. I forgot to tell you about this. This is part of the show <laughs> where <laughs> you bring a bit that you're working on, and Mike and I help you punch it up. Wait, really? Yeah. It's if called you new want. bits. Oh God. It's called punching it. Punch up. It's I called, called, called it new bits. <laughs> you call it new bits? Yeah. All right. Well, now it's called new bits. Okay. The hangers on. John F. O'Donnell came up with that idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, all right, so I'm working on this bit right now that's like, do I have to do the bit? No, I mean, you can just do the premise, and then Mike and I will fix it for you or whatever. Okay, so the, <laughs> the premise is that... <laughs> <laughs> the premise is that, like, uh, women look for three things in a man. Uh-huh. Mm. And that's like having... Dick and two butt cheeks. Oh, Got it. <laughs> you're close. You you're go. actually very close. It's having a good dick, being nice, and having a job. Oh. And... Uh, but you can only choose two of the things. Okay. So if a man 
like is being nice to you and has a has a good dick and has a job, then he's gonna hit you. Mm. Oh, he's gonna hit you? Yes. <laughs> Because, you, like, you can't fake having a good dick and so, you can't fake having a job, but you can fake being nice. Oh, f- I got it. Okay. You know what I mean? I was sitting there trying to imagine what it was like to have a man with the other two. <laughs> I do have a job Sundays and Mondays. <laughs> and to be quite honest, I'm very nice to a woman who's a horrible bitch. So it's <laughs> Oh, no, I was giving you nice. Oh. <laughs> well, I also have a job two days of the week. Today's my Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> He has a few Saturdays every week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Tomorrow's also my Saturday, and uh, Friday will be my Saturday as well. <laughs> I got to be honest, the entire time when you said there are three kinds of men, I was like, there I was like a cheetah in the men. bed, a tiger in, at work, and an ass to pay for it all. <laughs> what, Micah? Do you what? remember that old fucking show? No. no, what is that from the first season of Sex in the City? <laughs> it's like one of those, like, every inside every man there's three. You, oh, a woman wants, I don't know, animals, men, something. It's an old joke. I told it already. Oh, good. <laughs> Micah, that's great. That really helped. Well, I that's okay. So your so, advice is to do an older bit? No. <laughs> yeah, Micah. You know what? Let's ask ChatGPT. <laughs> yeah, oh, we should. ChatGPT, what are the three things? <laughs> we should get ChatGPT to help punch up bits. I'm not allowed to talk about men. They are the most persecuted group at the moment. Oh, wow. ChatGPT, how woke. <laughs> men are so pur- persecuted they had to be invented first. What? Something about Adam and Eve. Adam and Steve. <laughs> yeah. What about something like that? So it's good dick, has a job, and yeah. nice, and no man can have all three. So if he seems like he has all three. Then he's going to hit you. Then he's going to hit you because you can't fake having money and you can't fake having good you dick. You can fake having money. People do it in Miami all the time. Yeah, but not like sus- not for like a sustained period of time. Mm. It's like somebody that you're like getting to know. You uh. know what I mean? Because also like all of the best dick I've ever had is like – from a guy who's just completely unemployable like yeah. no job at all and i don't know why men sounds like they already have one Stud. well it's probably <laughs> it's probably they, they're probably so good at fucking because they have so much time Stud. on their hands yeah you think they're practicing on yeah a they're just like something? fucking all the time no, because they don't have to work men who are good in bed are just dumb as hell and that's why they don't let their dumb thinky thoughts get oh in the yeah way, no get that's in the way true of fucking and that also happens to be a correlating issue with not being employable yeah <laughs> no yeah you're right oh my god wait did you hear about the comic who shot somebody yeah i did did you know that I used to date him? No, is that shut true? up. Yeah. Wait, who is I dated him for like Leo Caprese. It's because they said a Leo, and I was like, wait, it's not Leo Wolf, right? And I no, he was the only no. Leo comic I knew. Who's I didn't even hear Leo of this Caprese. Caprese? No, Caprese. Oh, good. He I was like a uh, salad. You've He's definitely seen he him before. I've <laughs> definitely seen him before. He's always he was always at the stand. He was like Dominican. He had teardrop tattoos. Wow. Mm. Did he hit you? No, wow. he was actually really nice to me. Everybody's like, "Are you okay?" And I'm like, "He was always nice to me. This is a never huge, shot me." This is a huge <laughs> get. That's wild. Was yeah. he a big guns guy? I take it. Why do he shoot people? Do you have the inside track? Well, I don't know how much I can say. This is not All right, testimony. Well, then don't say anything. Say. So no, allegedly, no, Tim, allegedly, yeah, allegedly, <laughs> allegedly, every time he came over my house, he had a gun on him. Hell, unregistered yeah. firearm. I've heard allegedly. that from multiple people. He, allegedly, he always, always strapped. Yeah, uh, and he was allegedly a former gang member. Got it. And when we were dating, he was not drinking and on his meds. And then when we stopped dating, he started drinking and went off his meds. Allegedly, That's allegedly, yeah. not what you want to do. That's and so, never a do you, good would you combo. say now that you're the reason he went off his meds and killed that person? No. Also, the person's Damn. not dead. Person's oh. not dead. They just oh. got shot. But we we broke up in like July, and then he shot somebody like end of January. This is also a lot about your dating preferences and giving me a lot of information about they're probably not nice <laughs> no i've never <laughs> dated a nice yeah, man in my maybe entire the life joke should end, you know so if they're gonna have a job then maybe they're going to shoot somebody later and end up in the news <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> yeah what do they call him the new york post called him a crime clown which <laughs> 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 was very no. funny that's so fucking funny. Damn, Jesus his, Christ. His comedy career is going to be popping now. That's crazy. I know. Well, I... he's he's actually, he's still at large. Whoa. They didn't fucking arrest him. Wait, really? I thought they arrested him. No, no, no. They just, so he shot somebody end of January and then they. Oh, that was somebody else. 
I was oh. reading, it was a sec- another shooting news story I was reading today. The oh, movie. gotcha. Yeah. But they there was another comic that shot somebody. Or? It wasn't. A, it wasn't a comic, but it w- I could talk about it in a second. But it oh, was okay. kind of wild. Oh well. Anyway, he's just still at large, and like yeah. the reason why everybody found out like a week ago or whatever is because there's a New York Post article that like posted his mugshot and shit, being uh. like, "This is the guy we're looking for," uh. but he's probably long gone. You know Wait. what I mean? Yeah. Did he also hang around Brooklyn Comedy Club? Yes, all uh, the time. And yep. he had a podcast. Mm, he, was he also an ex-con? Oh, he's not. He's not Derek Drescher or Gio Perez. Gio, that's what really? I said. He's Leo, not Le- Gio. Le- and so I, that's why I got confused. I was like, "Wait, is it Gio?" I'll show you a picture okay. of him. I still have pictures of him on my phone Damn. from when we dated. Damn, <laughs> that's, that's cool. wild. <laughs> Isn't this that is fucking a crazy bananas? Get. Wow. I know. Yeah. Everybody's like. Are you okay? And I'm like, I literally have no feelings about it. Is that fucked up? No, nah, that's <laughs> probably good. That's I think that just means you're as Irish as they come. Meanwhile, yeah, like, no, I'm Leo's Catholic. living in her house, hiding out. She's, like, on podcast trying to act normal. Yeah. Oh, my God. I fucking thought about, like, what I would do if he showed up to my apartment. Yeah. And I'm like, I basically am like, I'm not going to tell anybody, but I'm also not gonna allow like not gonna help you at all you yeah you wouldn't i'm like stay. i'm not calling the cops because also there was like a lot of shit that we fucking i don't know there's a lot of shit that he would tell me about like gang shit and i'd be like don't fucking tell me that <laughs> yeah i was like a mob wife about it i'm like yeah. i don't want to be a part of this yeah. okay this is a weird picture because he's wearing my bathrobe but do we get to see hog no How hog long were you guys together i don't know like six months huh Micah, you don't know anybody. I don't know anybody. Yeah, <laughs> you guys don't. I already knew. I already didn't know him. I, I saw a couple pictures of him. I'm oh, like, yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. I don't know this guy. But Micah don't know anybody. I can't remember. Well, Facebook. he's also like, I don't know. He's like, he's just not in the same like circles. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. he's also kind Games. of a nobody. Yeah, me you too. I'm kind of a nobody. <laughs> I, got a, I got an email. I, I was messaging about doing shows today. And uh, I messaged somebody and they were like, yeah, uh, uh, you know, I've got a billion people booking me or I got a billion people hitting me up right now. You're on the list. I was like, just say no. Just say I'm not going to do your show. Just yep. say, just say, I'm like, and Micah was like, that's the nicest way you can tell you. I'm like, ah. I mean, it's better than no response or just like, honestly, no, it was that's just true. like, no, you would fucking hate him as much. If yeah. Not more. I yeah. know. It all makes, it's all It's upsetting. truly the nicest way to say not now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're right. Yeah, but whatever. But that's crazy. So it, was he? But he was he funny? Um, I don't think he was that funny. Mm, bummer. He's like passed at LOL though. Oh yeah, uh. that was so funny. I was watching the thing and they were like, the, and that same night he performed at LOL Comedy Club. Yep. Like, I'm sure most of the people that were fucking shooting people were performed at LOL <laughs> Comedy, Comedy Club. That night. Dude, I saw Josh Johnson last night, and I was like, yo, did you hear about Leo? And he's like, yeah, when I saw the article, I immediately thought of you, because in the article it said he fled with, like, a female companion. Oh, no. Oh. And he was like, he was like, I was hoping it wasn't you. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> You, is that the type of thing you might do? Oh, no dick is that good. Really? You're not fleeing? You're going to stay? No, I'm not fucking fleeing. I have oh. a dog. <clears throat> oh, yeah. yeah, you do have a dog. Your I have dog a dog. And like... I haven't seen your dog in real life, which I would like to give your dog a lot of pets. Oh, my God. She's so precious. You'd love yeah. her. You'd love her. Damn. She's a little bit afraid of men, though. So. Oh, that's okay. So you'll be fine. But um... <laughs> What the hell? Damn. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Damn, that fucking... Dunked on. Yeah, Mar- yeah. Guess what? The women's march was your idea, dumbass. I know. <laughs> I'm trying to be progressive. Micah was like, "Let's just book another guy." That's what Micah's because always I like. don't want anyone to feel like they got booked because they of a diversity requirement. <laughs> well, then you shouldn't look at stand-up lineups. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> oh God, uh, that's God why I'm him. here. <laughs> no, everyone. It's all women this month. It's going to be a great month of women marching down the stairs and doing a little pod with us, huh? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to say, Tim. Did we help your bit? Um, no. Basically, it was, <laughs> you should talk about the, on stage the guy who shot, shot somebody. Yeah, be more specific in the joke. Specific is funny. Well, no, I do have a specific part at the end where I'm like... He's going to throw a chair at you, and then he's going to take your dog away after your mom dies, which is something that happened to me. Jesus oh, Christ. No. <laughs> what an unlikable fool. And then everybody gets all sad, and then I'm like, is this not relating to you? And yeah. then everybody feels like a little bit better about it. You know what I mean? <laughs> They'll probably still feel bad for me. They probably... Yeah. Hey, that's hey, sad. <laughs> audiences don't like to hear about sad things unless... I know. 
Unless, unless I'm they telling hate, them. Unless they hate the person it's happening to. Yeah, they like it when I say sad stuff. They're like, <laughs> look at him. He doesn't know it's bad. He thinks it's good. He thinks it's good his uncles are dead. <laughs> you got a lot of dead uncles? I got a couple. How many? Let's two? see. Oh, okay. I only got two. Hold on. I have ready. Oh, shit. Battle yeah. of the Irish. Ready? Well, I have. She's real East Coast Irish. I have a uh, seven. No. Don't forget one or six, they'll haunt you. Six dead uncles. <laughs> yeah, all Su- alcoholism? No, suicide, murder, murder. Um, got like like overdose, uh, drank himself to death, COVID, and then another one. COVID. No. And then alcoholism. Wow. Yeah. So th- I count two, maybe three for alcoholism because suicide kind of hangs in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also there was like there was like a guy who just like drank himself to death. You know what I mean? Where oh, it was like yeah. a kind of like sad thing, like a depressive. It was probably yeah. like suicide. It was like suicide by stop and take and care of yourself. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm-hmm. So the mostly. Six hundred pound life you know? on it all. Yeah. Did uh, was your uncle murdered by Leo Caprese? <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I wish that'd be a good screenplay Who was idea. He murdered but. By? The uh, mafia? The no, Irish a, mob? a crazy man. Oh no! Came out of the woods and beat him to death Wait, randomly. Wait, what, what the, the fuck? fuck? Yep. Wait, That's out of the woods. M Night Shyamalan. Yep. Shit. What do you mean out of the woods? Okay, so my <laughs> uncle. Yeah, was he at the park? Dude. Yeah, was he at the <laughs> edge of the woods? <laughs> no. Yeah. My uncle, he lived in West Greenwich in Rhode Island, and he lived on this like huge plot of land. And he was a carpenter, so he had a wood shop that was like probably like a hundred yards through the woods away from his house. Okay. And he. Like and it's all a huge wooded area. He was in his workshop, and there's a naked guy standing outside of the wood shop. And then he like fucking calls the police, and yeah. then on the call he gets <gasps> murdered. And oh my then God, just from fist from fists, yes, like just beaten to death with a man's fist. Yes, and his hog. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, yeah. maybe. Whoa. But then did they found would, out. Yeah, did he come first? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he probably came while he was doing did it. He, the thrill of murder? <laughs> I bet he nutted. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank but he, you. He, this guy just went through a psychotic break. <gasps> and then, like, he was at, like, a campus that was, like, a mile away. And he just ran through the woods, took all of his clothes off. First person he found, beat him to death. Wow. Isn't that that's fucking insane. bananas. He was at a campus? Like, he was a professor or a student? He was a. He worked in, like, the, in the kitchen of, like, the dining hall. Oh, shit. Wow. And then they were like, you're acting crazy. You've got to go home. And then he ran through the woods and fucking killed my uncle. So did you sue the school for, like, losing eyes on this crazy person? Uh, my aunt tried to and failed. And yeah. also the guy, he got caught and then was, uh, he was innocent by reason of insanity. Sounds right. Whoa. Yeah. But, yeah, but he's not out. No, he's not out, but You have we to don't... go to, like, a ha- uh, an insane asylum or whatever. You have to go to, like, a, yeah. d- a different type of and prison. And they just kind of, like, reevaluate you every six months to see if they can let you out. Wow. Yep. It's fucking bananas. That's like, crazy. Yep. How long wow. ago was that? 2016. Oh, shit. That was recent. And I was ready. <laughs> I was in Paris with my mom when we got the call. Wow. Oh, shit. And so then we had to, like, go home. Answer the no, phone. No, yeah. this guy's the worst. I know. <laughs> you answer the phone all, all fucking French. You're like, bonjour. And then they're like, uh, Jake got beaten to death. <laughs> got um, beaten to death by a naked man. Jesus, was this your mom's brother? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, it was fucking bananas, dude. And then that we got, was an awkward flight, dude. We got harassed by the TSA, and I remember screaming in the face of the TSA agents because they were harassing my mom because they were like, because we booked the flight like yeah. hours after it happened, Jeez. and then they were like, did anybody give you anything? They like took us into another room, and I was like, do you see what's fucking happening right here? My mom's fucking crying. My uncle got murdered. We gotta go home. And then they were like, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> dude, you do not want to talk to people who've had their brothers murdered on a plane. I know. Let me tell I you, know. I sat next to one. <laughs> When I was Wait, in really? sixth grade, Wait, what the hell? I'm in sixth grade. <laughs> yeah, I was flying to see my aunt, and uh, I was like flying alone, so I'm like what 11, right? And I'm sitting next to this lady, and uh, she's like, "What are you traveling for?" And I'm like, "I'm gonna visit my aunt." And I'm like, "What are you traveling for?" And she's like, "She's like to find my brother's murderer." And I'm like, <laughs> "What?" <laughs> was it my mom? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. In 2016, I was 11. 11. <laughs> so the true. math adds up. Yeah. Yeah, man. man, I've never had anything cool like that happen to me. <laughs> I was on the I was on the Greyhound, and this lady spit on the bus driver, 
And then they had to pull over the Greyhound, and a cop came on and arrested the lady. And then the cop was, like, trying to chat with everybody. And this woman, this <laughs> woman on the Greyhound goes, Motherfucker, shut up. My cousin is dead. I'm trying to get to Atlanta. <laughs> and the cop was like, Oh, I'm sorry. And then just got off the bus. I'm, every Greyhound I it's took. It's even funnier that it worked. <laughs> it worked. Because he, like, he was just trying to kill time for another car to get there. Yeah. You know? And he was just trying to be, like, nice and fun with everybody. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. No one wanted to hear it. Every Greyhound, I'm not kidding, I've taken three Greyhounds from Chicago to Indianapolis. Two of the three the cops were called. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Wait, what was the other time for? Oh, the person accosted the bus driver. He's like, someone took a stinky duke in the bath and it, it wasn't me, but... <laughs> He's like, I'm not going to name names, but somebody... <laughs> Oh, man. Caleb Sinan has a great story about the bus driver. Somebody took a shit on the bus, and he said the bus driver goes, uh-uh, y'all, we ain't doing that on here. <laughs> what, is he supposed, what is anyone supposed to do? Shit before or after. I don't know. But the Figure it out. See, know. That's what you're supposed to do. If I had that much control over where and when I shit, it what? would... What? I'm saying I don't. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying that I do. You can That's just, crazy. Wait, you can will yourself to take a shit before you get on a bus? No, but I can hold it until I get off the oh, bus. Honey, oh, honey, what a life you live. <laughs> <laughs> I legit had to sprint home the other day. It's the most exercise I've gotten in forever. And I was in the bathroom. He was so pissed he had to go to the downstairs one. <laughs> I, well, I, I had to hustle, and I was worried I was going to fall down the stairs and then shit myself on the way down. <laughs> we call it the river of dreams. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh God. Well, after all this murder talk, I guess it's time for a hot take of the week. Hot take. Somewhere in the city. All so, right. Allie, this is where Mike is going to give us a Mike is going to give us a scenario that she's found on the internet. And we have to immediately give our take on it. So, we have to say whether the person is an asshole or not or right or wrong or whatever in the situation Micah gives us. And then we find out if we're right when she gives us more. Oh, this gotcha. This is one of those. This is just a take. Oh, okay. Oh, this isn't shit. that long, but I think it will open up a nice discussion. Okay. <laughs> this is from Home Health. I don't know what this is. Some website. Oh, I'm good. straight, but flirted with another woman to get a discount on a couch. I consider myself an LGBTQ ally, but my friends called me out for my behavior. What do you think? Um, I think that's fine. Yeah, I think it's fine to do. I feel yeah. like if, if it was a man that you flirted with to get a discount on a couch... I don't think the problem is that she's doing it to a gay lady. Yeah. I think the problem is that you're being like a little bit of deceptive. A tease. It's rude. Yeah. It's rude to do. But I also don't is have a problem with that. Yeah. Because you're not, she's not getting the money from, or the person's making the money from the couch or the, the, the businesses. Yeah. You know well, what I mean? Yeah. I'm sure they get some kind Unless of Unless they work on commish. Yeah. If they can negotiate a price, they work on a commission. But if they're that horny that they're going to give like a random person a discount, then that's their fault. That's what I'm fucking saying. Yeah. But on the other hand, lesbians don't ever meet other lesbians. So they might be like, this is the one. Yeah. The one fucking time. Men I are know. used to being fucking conned. I used yeah. to flirted being- with her. She was like, hey, if you sell me this flannel couch, I'll let you <laughs> slap my gambos around <laughs> on it or whatever she says. <laughs> Yeah, she's like, do you think the couch can fit me and you? Yeah. <laughs> She'll say, uh, and then they get on the couch, and then they scissor to completion. Th- they don't ever actually people don't do scissor. that. They don't do that, my guy. Oh, people, people don't scissor. Don't you don't, scissor yeah, don't do that kind of then humor. Then how did I accidentally cut my yoga mat? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? My God. Micah does put... Micah what do you does, think sex is? <laughs> I don't know. Micah puts like implements in her pussy and runs around the house. She goes, I'm Edward Scissor Pussy. <laughs> and then she tries to cut my hair. Yeah. Ever ever since uh, Jim Carrey stopped making movies, I feel like someone needs to fill that void. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think what she did is completely fine. If you're allowed... I mean, it's rude to do and in any situation. You think if, so? Flirting? Flirting to even get, to get laid is rude. No, 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 no. <laughs> Flirting to get a discount when you know you're not attracted to the person is rude to do no matter what. Straight, <sighs> gay, buy. Yeah, you should buy the couch. Yeah. <laughs> but like full I, price. Listen, and this brings me to a nice little story that happened on Sunday where the gay black guy that comes into the gutter all the time told me my ass looked incredible. People don't believe that it happened in my group chat, but it did. So, and this is an ethical issue because you had to talk about it? Yes. And I just had to put it out there that I'm fucking looking good these days. I know, Tim. You're so sexy. Thanks, Micah. 
can I get a discount on this couch? Please? Yeah. <laughs> you can have a section of it. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, Wait, section you... eight. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? It means Housing. This is a poverty couch. Yeah. I'm not poor. I have a job on t- for two days of the week now. <laughs> God, every comic I talk to is like, I got to put shelves up. God, I should call Tim. <laughs> and then they never do. They never call me, but I will do it. <laughs> Come on, I don't guys. do it here. Get I won't do it here. No. Wait, will, will you will you take down a mounted TV and put it in a different place in a home? Can you do that? Yeah. I'll pay you to do that, dude. Okay, I'll do that. And then you can come pet my dog. Yes, let's go. What a win. Sick. This is, look at this, Tim. <laughs> I'm going to pet a dog. It's going to be a nice time. I built a whole fucking entertainment center with a dog laying on my lap one day. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it took him 20 hours. It took forever. <laughs> the lady was like, is that okay? I was like, I love it. The lady I was like, this. I'm going to bed. Should I just leave the I light said, shut on? up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Me and the dog are having a nice time. Go to bed, you old crow. <laughs> the lady is like, my husband's coming home and he's going to have some questions. And I'm going to beat his ass. I'm going to get naked and beat the shit out of him. <laughs> on his head. And the dog's going to love it. So get ready to pay for a long distance call because yeah. <laughs> your sister and niece are coming home. Yeah. Bonjour. <laughs> Put down the baguettes, ladies. You got to get home now. <laughs> that really sucks. There was a minute where I was like, God, do we have to go home from Paris? He's already dead. It does yeah. suck. How He's going to be more dead when he gets Paris there. Paris sucks, too. So it's like kind of good you got to come back to America. <laughs> Mike Dude. is jealous. She's never been. I've never been. It's nice. Yeah, Not I thought Not worldly so. like me and you. I only went that one time. How that long did you have left of your trip before? Only like two days. Okay. So it wasn't like the whole vacation was ruined. Thank God. <sighs> that still sucks, though. We saw the Eiffel Tower, but. That's cool. Oh, yeah. I saw the Eiffel Tower. Not for me. I don't really like Paris. I got shushed too many times. <laughs> they, they're like, here, have all this wine. And then they're like, you're being too loud and wine drunk. I'm like, bro, you can't have it both ways. <laughs> Did you get shushed while you were there? No. Did not get shushed at all. See, it's a horrible country. <laughs> I don't know. We'll go, Michael. We'll go. We'll go. Yeah, now. No, we can't go now. Oh. I have to work on Friday. Ugh. I got called in. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. Nope, no news this week. The news is gone. So now we go to our favorite. Tim lost. Tim lost the news, which was the worst I segment lost because the news. what was the news? It's where Tim reads a really dumb headline, and then that's the most exciting part. <laughs> and yeah. then he continues to read the rest of the article to the listener's dissatisfaction because he doesn't know how to read. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I get really pissed off, and it sucks. And I decided to spare you and everyone at home by using oh. that as a bargaining chip. And I won. Hell yeah, hell yeah the, dude. In our, one of our newest Patreon episodes that got taken off of YouTube because of hate speech, Mike uh, beat me. In Wait, that's th- the one that got taken off? Yeah. <laughs> I be- think it's because I said I was going to kill your gay ass or something. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you blamed me for it. What? You yeah. Me for, well, for I assume because you incited it. Well, you, yeah. say you incited. F, you, say the F, you say the gay F on the Patreon all the time, so I'm trying to... So I assume it was your fault. I thought this was a free country. I can't believe you can't say that. Ugh, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, they're it's free capitalism. to take us off YouTube. I <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we got to get to it. Reviews for the podcast. Ooh, this is yeah. on Apple iTunes. And write reviews for the podcast. We prefer them to be five-star reviews, but if they're not, that's fine. We don't have any reviews on iTunes today. God damn it. But <laughs> we have a bunch of comments on the YouTube. I read all the comments yes. on our YouTube uh, thing. So... If you want to check it out, it's Great Hang Podcast on YouTube. Here are the ones from the John F. O'Donnell episode. Really love John F. O'Donnell's new catchphrase, hangers on. No, it does not <laughs> say <Nuh-uh. laughs> No, it doesn't say that. <laughs> um, <laughs> this, one's from, this one's from AJ Cook. It said, if Cajun Tim pops in every once in a while, I'm up for it. Tim did oh, people like when Cajun Tim come down from the bayou. <laughs> come down, cook up some gator. All right. Oh, here's somebody you're not going to like, Micah. Uh Uh-oh. Snake Nelson. Uh Micah hates snakes. I thought it was like, women aren't funny, you're an ugly bitch, die cunt. (laughs) Hold on, let me see if he wrote. That was his name, too. That was his username. He didn't write that. Five stars, he says. Oh, cool. This podcast has it all. Oh. (laughs) Tim's singing is angelic. That's true. Please riff more cheesy songs, Tim. 
The news with Tim McLaughlin should not be gambled away. I'm sorry. <gasps> is this I'm sorry. is this still Snaky Steve? Snake Nelson. <laughs> Snaky Steve. But this is why I don't remember people ever. Well, you <laughs> should remember him because he's about to say something nice. Okay. But the best segment is Micah's hot takes. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. Snake Nelson. Keep it up. You guys are cutting and funny. Oh, thanks, Snake. Thanks, Snake. And now from our good friend Steve Bala. Hi guys, just wanted to say I'm utterly lost without the news. Since the only <laughs> since the only news correspondent I trust is Tim, I live 20 miles from East Palestine and have no idea why people are talking about some train issue. People need to be informed. Bring back the news, Steve. I'd love to tell you why a train crashed near East Palestine, but I don't know either. I'm not even allowed to read the news anymore. I thought he meant at first the country. Yeah. And he was like, I have no idea what's going on on the Gaza Strip yeah. Dude, because honestly, I don't get the news from Great Hang. Same. <laughs> I didn't care about that train accident at all for a while. Yeah. I don't even know what happened. Oh, don't worry about a it. A bunch of people died, right? You don't drink water, do you? Not a bunch. No, a bunch of people didn't die. A bunch yeah. of people got their water poisoned, about 5 million people's Water Five was, million? Yeah. I read like up estimate. to 30 million because <gasps> it gets into the something something river. The Ohio River, which, oh, which flows crow. into the Missouri River, which flows into the Mississippi River. Yeah. Damn, I don't know if you guys that's crazy. Are big into rivers. <laughs> it wasn't just that the thing crashed over and then spilled a bunch of toxic chemicals. Then the people there to like cover it up lit it all on fire and then it started pouring acid rain once the gas <laughs> came down. So it was kind of just one of the most epic. Natural, dis- not a natural disaster, but a like deal- a human uh, made envi- disaster. It's, it's the largest environmental disaster on American soil, and it's almost not talked about at all. That's this guy fucking says he, bananas. This guy says, but he that's loves- not a big deal because we're all gonna die. But soon. what about this? That's is a true. cheesy song. Acid rain. The people in Ohio are gonna die. Acid rain. <laughs> <laughs> Who gives a fuck? Come to my show in Columbus, yeah. April 13th at the Don't Tell Show. All right. <laughs> Django 0 JA22 says, I like the news. Damn. Too bad, brother. And Uncle Jemima says, when, Michael, when Micah gets annoyed, I bust hard. That's, another man who misses the news. That's another point for not having the news, I think. <laughs> Dude, I want Uncle Jemima to bust. It's syrupy, yeah. syrupy. Uncle, <laughs> Uncle Jemima's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. T- I'll let, yeah, I'll let Uncle Jemima bust if you eat that on your pancakes. Oh, oh. <laughs> I hate I hate pancakes. I'll put it on waffles, though. You hate pancakes, but you like waffles? Uh, waffles are good. Waffles are crispy. Pancakes are too fluffy. I don't like them. <laughs> Tim doesn't eat anything fluffy. That's really? Right. I mashed potatoes? Gabriel Iglesias. He won't, won't eat mashed potatoes, won't eat scrambled eggs, won't eat pancakes. Hates fluffiness. Yeah. What? And yet looks like that. I know. It's fucked up. I'm like, you don't like uh, like pound cake? No. I don't know. I've never really had it. I think pound cake's a denser cake. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking of angel food cake. You don't like angel food cake? Not real. I'm not. I don't really like cake, actually. Yeah. Angel food honest. cake actually does suck, though. Because no. it hurts your teeth when you bite it. It's like, arr, arr, arr. God, it's like what? eating. It's, I think you're eating styrofoam. It's, it's, yeah, it sounds like the only one you've eaten that was like two years old. Yeah. Because they're like real nice and fluffy if you get them fresh. It hurts my teeth to think about. <laughs> 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 All right. Allie, this is your time to shine now. You've been doing a real great job on the podcast. <laughs> but this is time for a fun. Do you have a fun party story or tip for being a great hang? Um, I guess this isn't a story because I don't remember most of it. Nice. That's how a good story starts. Okay, when I was in college, I went to school at Binghamton University, and, um... In Binghamton, New New York? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Upstate, yep. Mm -hmm. And I got really excited because I found a fur vest at, like, a thrift shop, and I put it on... it, like, matched your little squirrel tail that you wore? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, were you one of those? I was a big furry in college. <laughs> were you? No. Were you like one of those kids that puts on all the shows at colleges that put on their their little cat ears and have like a tail? Oh, and they they went they want people to like ask about it. Yeah, and but, they like hiss but, at people and shit. And then if you're like, why do you do that? And they're like, what do you mean? This isn't for you. And I'm it's <laughs> like, okay, then don't cause a bunch of attention to yourself. Yeah. So basically, I was a cat girl, and nice. um, <laughs> <laughs> I. Uh, drank like a liter bottle of gin and orange juice, and then I blacked out. Mm-hmm. I only blacked out one time in my entire life. This is it. This is it. That's oh, it. Oh, honey, you are not 
doing the right drugs with your drinks. I know. <laughs> no, because I'm a booze hound, but I like having control. Yeah, you know okay. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so uh, I only blacked out one time. I, like, escaped my friends, and then when I, like, woke up, I had a black eye. Whoa. And I was like, oh, I deserve this. Because of the fur vest? No, I think... <laughs> no, like, someone punched you because of the fur vest? They're like, I don't like this. Maybe. Yeah. But honestly, I probably Birds just, like... murder. <laughs> I probably just, like, mouthed off to somebody. Yeah. You know what I mean? And people are like, maybe you fell. And I'm like, I don't think that's what happened. <laughs> yeah, you, you know. You know what I mean? I'm like, I know myself. But Man. the fur vest is the reason why I drank so much. I was just excited about having the fur vest. Wait, really? Because I'm still yeah. like, what does this have to do with the fucking fur vest? I just, I drank so much because I was hyped about the fur vest. <laughs> what if it was, like, evil? <laughs> It's like, the second you put this vest on, you'll be insatiable and to the drink. Let me tell you something. I never wore it again. <laughs> and <laughs> wait, you never blacked out since. Yes, wait, I never really? wore it again. And then I and haven't you, blacked out because I felt like it gotta, was cursed. We got to make a remake. The new Jim Carrey remake. The <laughs> best. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> I'm drinking. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me. I was at a... Uh, I was at IU. I was a freshman. Well, I wasn't. I didn't go to college, but my friends were freshmen in college. He went. He didn't finish. Thank you. Oh. But my friends were freshmen in college, and I went to IU to hang out with my friends. And my buddy and I drank so much that we blacked out in the uh, dorm room and passed out, right? But the uh, TA walked by, and then they had to call the cops because they couldn't wake us up. And then a cop came and woke us up, and my buddy woke up with a black eye and started screaming about how he was going to sue the police department and sue Blue nice. <laughs> and sue everyone he was yelling. He was like, give me your body cam footage. Yeah, he's like, I'm going to sue you. I'm going to sue this fucking school. I'm going to take them for all they've got. His dad's like a lawyer. Oh, he calls God. his dad at 3 in the morning. He goes... We've got to sue Bloomington. We have to sue the school. And Tim went to school with Paul Murdoch. <laughs> <laughs> and his dad just goes, listen, Spencer, we'll sue whoever you want in the morning. Just go to bed, please. Oh, <laughs> so uh, rich kids are so funny. <laughs> so he's screaming. Jesus fucking Christ. So he's screaming at the cops, tell him he's going to sue him. I lean over to the cop and go, listen, I don't agree with anything he's saying. <laughs> so if you want to take someone to jail, just don't take me. You know? <laughs> And it turns out Spencer got a black eye because he walked into the wall and fell down and smashed his face into the wall and Jesus. got a black eye before he passed out. And the cop didn't hit him at all. How did they figure it out? Was there a face hole in the wall? Yeah. Well, our friends came back as he was screaming while we were in handcuffs and he was screaming at the police. And then they let us go. But they, they were like, oh, he thought the cop hit him. No, he walked into a wall. <laughs> <on his own. laughs> That's so funny. I like how he was only going to be arrested if a cop hit him. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> they were like, all right, now this guy's a fucking problem. The cop, I remember this, the cop goes, if I would have hit you, you'd be fucking dead. <laughs> oh, shit. And Spencer goes, yeah, right, pussy bitch. <laughs> I was like, this, I was laughing so hard, but I was like, no, I can't be going to jail tonight. That would be so fucking brutal. Jesus Christ. Uh, all right. We're getting down to it. We only have one more segment and then sign offs. Right. Did you think of a dead person? Mm, no. All right. I'm I'll go to. first and then you can go. Wait, can I say right. one thing? Yes. When you told me I had to talk about a dead person. You got to talk shit about a dead person. Yeah. You, I don't think you said that in the DM. Oh, okay. So <laughs> I do have a dead person I can talk shit about. Oh, okay. But only because I listened to a pod, uh, one of your pods before oh, I came on. Oh, good. And I was like, I thought I just had to talk about any dead person. No. I mean, if that was the case, we already did that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll go first and then you can go. Okay, okay, okay. So you can think about it, too. You can, I mean, it could be a famous person if you just think of one. No, I already got a dead person. I'm, th I'm going to talk shit about Eddie Ray Routh. He's the guy who Chris killed American sniper Chris Kyle. Hey, bro, Chris Kyle was pretty cool and hot in that movie when he was played by Bradley Cooper, who was hot. <laughs> and Chris Kyle, I don't know if he's actually hot. I assume he is if he's that good at sniping. You can't be fucking killing hot boys. That sucks. Don't be killing American heroes either. Whether or not I believe in the military is doesn't matter here. We're not getting into that. But you're a PTSD, and the D stands for dickhead, piece of shit. And I hope you... Uh, oh, I don't know if this guy's dead, actually. <laughs> oh, wait. Tim. He might still be alive. Alive? 
Uh oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I thought he killed Chris Kyle and then killed himself. Wait, why did he kill Chris Kyle? Uh, he has Pete. Well, Chris Kyle was he? They were so he used to do like shooting training with like as a thing with PTSD guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that guy just went and just <gasps> shot him at the gun range. Have you not seen American Sniper? No, I didn't watch that. Oh boy, film. that's great stuff. It's really good stuff. It is a plus propaganda. Really wants you. It really gets you to want to. But there's that s- fake baby in it, right? Oh, is there a fake baby? Like, the only thing I know about American Sniper is that there's one point where he's, like, holding a baby, and, like, Bradley Cooper's, like, really playing it up, and it's oh. a very, very fake baby. That's probably It's like a true. limp, like, dead baby in his hands, and he's like, hey, all lives matter. <laughs> <laughs> see, I don't see that kind of stuff because I'm so deep into my love for America that I'm just blinded by all of that. <laughs> but anyway, if you didn't, uh, he had PTSD and schizophrenia. No, oh, that'll do it. But guess what, bro? You the uh, America let you down, and I hate to say it, but rest in piss. Bitch. So he's not dead. I don't know. He also killed Chad Littlefield. If you're not dead, oh, he might. Oh wait, he was arraigned with two counts of capital murder. He is not dead. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to change this. Chris Kyle, rest in piss. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I hope you're getting sniped by the devil's cock in hell, Chris Kyle. There we go. American oh, hero, God. Chris Kyle. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, this person I'm pretty sure is fucking dead. But um, <laughs> so uh, after my mom died, we had this like chest in our house and my aunt came over because she wanted the chest and all the shit in it. The all, It was like family heirlooms and stuff in it. And we like went through it together and I like took some shit out. And there was this, like, little brown, like, box. And my aunt picked it up, and she's like, what is this? And then she's like, ah! And then she, like, throws it. And I'm oh like, no. what the fuck is that? And she's like, so her grandfather, so my great-grandfather, apparently, she was like, this was your great-grandfather's, and he was a terrible man. He molested all of his kids, and then he Jeez. died in an explosion. <laughs> <laughs> and this was Hell the yeah. cigarette pack that was in his like pocket when he got exploded what the that's fuck that's fucking cool <laughs> damn the and O'Neill's the know how to the, the and O'Neill's I don't know what the fuck this guy's die. name is but fuck you rest in piss for molesting all of your kids yeah, you and then I was like oh I guess my meme got molested as a kid damn you call her <laughs> meme damn. yeah it's French oh shit <laughs> That's cool, though. He's, I mean, honestly, to have his own pack of cigarettes li- live through an explosion is pretty and he, badass. Yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, Allie's great-grandpa, I hope your ass is getting exploded by the devil's cock in hell. Yeah. Bro. Also, cool. dying in an explosion is probably the funniest way to go. That is cool. He got exploded. How did, like do we know? He's like fucking Coyote. I think like he was. It was like at a factory he worked at. He was or working at like a that. TNT what factory. We, yeah. Was he, yeah. Working <laughs> at the, was he working at Acme? Was yeah. he at the Acme factory? He's a guy who stuffs the dynamite, a real rough one in a million shots. <laughs> <laughs> and he was smoking a cigarette yeah. while he was stuffing it. I love yeah. it. Yeah, that's cool. Well, it's, uh, I'm sorry that he molested everyone, but pretty cool he blew up. <laughs> Rest in piss. Brother. Rest in piss. Yeah. Okay, and I'm going to talk about this man. He's in my top ten of people who are dead. It's oh. Casey Kasem oh. coming to you from hell. Who's that? Casey Kasem was a radio personality in the 80s and 90s. He was oh. also the voice of Shaggy. Oh, he was? <gasps> mm-hmm. Well, even so, you're dead now, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> you left, you left Shaggy without a voice, and if anyone needs a voice, it's those who can't speak for themselves. The dogs. Coming in, <laughs> at, coming in at number one, dead bitch of the week. Dead bitch of the week. <laughs> we have Casey Kasem taking it straight in the ass from Staten's cock. Rest in piss, you stupid bitch. All right, great. All Rest right. in piss. That's it. That's the end of the show, you cocksuckers. How'd you like it, huh? Good show. <laughs> great show. <laughs> great show. Now this is our last segment. It's where we do sign-offs. Micah, go ahead. Signing off, it is me, the smartest woman in the world who can write anything at any time for an indeterminate length because <laughs> I am brilliant <laughs> and everything I say is written by me at all times. <laughs> Don't even worry about it, honey. It's me, Toey's mom, Timmy's girlfriend, Allie's friend, and your podcast host, Micah Fox. And signing off, it is I, the greatest man that's ever lived. And a pretty cool guy. 
the manager of the bowling alley, Sundays and Mondays. <laughs> A man who's just gotten 800 subscribers on his YouTube page, a couple shows that don't want to book him, Timothy (laughs) Grady McLaughlin II. Uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. All right, now you got to do one, but you got to say signing off. Signing off. It's me. I've cheated death multiple times by accident, unintentionally. Everybody around me is dead, but guess what, baby? I made it out. Allie O'Neill. Yes. Sign off. Yes. Bye, motherfuckers. <laughs> for all you uh, great hangers out there. Oh, wait. Yeah. We don't have a name for them. We great should call hangers. them hangers on. What? That's we call them Albanian Nation. Oh, well, yeah. We don't even call them. 